before we dive in, I saw this question on social media and I wanted us to discuss it, but there's been this burning question. And I think this was, this was posted by motorsport.com um, on Instagram um, asking, should Formula One teams be obligated to drive a rookie in a race every season? Right now, Formula One teams are obligated to drive a rookie in a free pra- in the first pre- free practice session of a race, and you know for for each driver, unless you are the rookie on your team, which this year we have no rookies. Um, but should what do you think? Should teams be obligated to drive a rookie in a race? No, flat out no. Yeah, it messes with constructors. It messes with drivers' championship. Like. If they're already getting points, uh, super license points for driving in free practices, that's all they need. They're getting experience in the car. People are getting in, the, you know, film and data to look at for possible seat openings in the future. But I think having them involved in a race just ruins too much of, like, it's a it's a competitive sport. Competitive yeah. professional sport. If you start throwing rookies in just because there's a rule and out of out obligation – it takes away the opportunities for the drivers who are actually driving, who actually have a seat to earn points, to score points for the team. I think it ruins everything. It messes everything up. And I have a feeling like the F1 um, team principals would think like, oh, well, let's just, then it's like, do you all just have a throwaway race and you have like a rookie race? Well, then don't do that. Just have a separate race. That's just rookies. Right. People like, reserve drivers, whatever, trying to go into a race. I don't know. I think it's, I, I get the intention and the ask, but I, I say flat out no. Oh, I, I wholeheartedly agree with you. And I knew that we would be in agreement on this. My personal thing is the idea is, well, the cars in F1 are so different from the cars in F2 that, you know, free practice session is not, you know, a replacement for actually driving right. a race, but that just says that F2 is not doing enough to prepare for exactly. the rookies in F1, yep. not the other way around. So what you need to fix is you need to make F2 more equitable to F1, yep. which... You need to improve F- F2 so that F1 doesn't suffer. Right. And so, and I mean, I know that there is there is a big difference between F2 and F1. The drivers that have, you know, every year that we have new drivers moving in, they've all talked about that. But at the same time, that's the point. And you're looking, you know, teams are looking for the rookie that's going to have the best opportunity to make that transition as, you know, as quickly as possible. Or you put them in a more junior team like Williams. Yeah. And it's it's not like this is a new practice. We get rookies from F2 or other circuits all the time, see other series all the time that they jump into the car and some of them do really well. Some of them don't. Some of them just crash, but it's not like it's a practice where it used to happen. Bring it back. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, it's that, that's also speaks to, you know, how good are the junior teams that formula one teams have the Ferrari junior team, the Mercedes junior team, the Red Bull junior team. If you're producing, you know, rookies that are not translating to the formula one level, that means that your junior team is the, you know, where you need to to fix, to find the better driver, to give them more preparation, to give them more, you know, practice time in the older cars, um, rather than trying to sacrifice a an entire race in the Formula One season, the Formula One calendar. Plus, people aren't traveling halfway around the world. Like, I'm not going to travel to, you know, Japan just to watch one of the, you know, F2, you know, like one of the Red Bull junior drivers drive in, instead of Max Verstappen at a race. I don't want that. Well, let's be real. They would never take out Max. It would be Checo, but. Um, yes, and. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like if you want to create a better springboard and a better transition, you need, like you said, you need to make F2 better. And also, like, make your junior driving programs better like it's not on f1 to fix this problem it's on everybody else i think but it's even a problem i don't think it's a problem i don't think it is i think it's just it 
I, it, this obviously came about because Ollie Behrman came in right. with no experience and like, right. what, ha- what happened if he had an entire weekend to prepare, which is something that you and I talked about in our Saudi Arabia recap, but the, that's not what Formula One is here for. Formula One is not here to develop new drivers. Formula One is here to showcase the pinnacle of motor racing. Yeah. And the pinnacle of motor racing is... I'll challenge that a little bit and say that Alpha Tari and William... Or sorry, not Alpha Tari. V-Carb, Carbohydrate. V-Carb, Red yeah. Bull Juniors and Williams are there to kind of grow talent. They are that is true. Teams. That is 100% true. The, you are right. That's the caveat. That's the caveat. Yes. But outside of that, F1 is, like you said, there to show off the pinnacle of motorsport. It's not there to, to develop. And maybe if they aren't getting enough experience in these cars and they want them to be better when they jump into that seat, then maybe the FIA needs to change like how often rookies or other drivers can be in the current car and not cause issues and not be considered testing and stuff like that then do something there but don't take a whole race away from us yeah exactly and I I will also add that you know Williams is in a position where they have to be a feeder team just because they had been struggling the last few decades and Mercedes you know is helping them continue to, you know, stay on the grid by providing them drivers like George Russell. Um, Lance Stroll was a Williams driver who was, you know, in, in, in training before his father bought a team, things like that. Um, So, but these are also, you know, the, the junior teams are still, these are the best of the best of those junior drivers. Obviously Nick DeVries is a, aberration and a very awkward aberration um but i mean we would be having the same conversation if this was like liam lawson who was coming in as a super sub again yep yeah exactly and i still think that you can't make a driver not race just to give a rookie more experience no this isn't like participation ribbon league here yeah like you earn your seat or someone gets appendicitis so (laughs) Yeah. Hey, appendicitis is more common than you think on the F1 grid. I mean, we've had two drivers. Well, do we in three even have years. drivers with appendix appendices left? My God. I mean, who knows?